the station was maneuvered to the capture attitude a little after 3 o'clock this morning. That was uh, completed in short order in about four or five minutes. Uh, and the station was reported to be in the proper capture attitude at 3.09 uh, this morning. And uh, in fact, Scott Kelly, the commander of uh, the station uh, at 321 uh, reported to uh, Houston a tally-ho, meaning his, uh, he had a visual uh, view of the uh, Cygnus spacecraft that was reported at 2.65 kilometer distance or 1.65 statute miles while the two spacecraft traveled high above the uh, South Atlantic at an altitude of about 257 statute miles. Now inside uh, 32 meters, 104 feet from the station, standing by for the um, next staging point at 30 meters. Beautiful view of the um, brand new Cygnus spacecraft. As uh, Cygnus and the space station approach the southern coast of Chile, And on board, the uh, crew is uh, repositioning the cameras. That's the movement that you see. That's actually being controlled by the crew. They're setting up their own uh, camera views uh, in preparation for the uh, final approach of the Cygnus uh, during this rendezvous phase with the International Space Station, the U European Space Agency Columbus Laboratory coming into view there in the bottom of the picture. And there you see the uh, Canadarm2, the uh, major uh, contribution uh, uh, provided by the Canadian Space Agency uh, experts uh, in robotics, uh, space robotics. The, uh, this gives a very good uh, relative distance uh, of Cygnus to the International Space Station and the uh, end effector, the latching end effector on the Canadarm2. Houston, at 20 meters, as far as the uh, quarter monitor, everything's lined up uh, perfectly. Copy, bullseye at 20 meters. The coast of uh, South Africa falling away beneath the station at an altitude of 254 statute miles, crossing the coastline uh, north of uh, Cape Town. And you see that uh, distance closing now, um, about to reach a point, uh, what's known as the capture point. And you saw the view from the latching end effector camera, and you can clearly see the uh, grapple pin uh, on the Cygnus spacecraft. A beautiful view of this brand new uh, cargo vehicle, the commercial cargo vehicle uh, arriving at the station as the two spacecraft currently fly high above Zimbabwe, tracking northeasterly. Uh, across the African continent. And unfortunately, we'll probably lose our television uh, for the next 15 or 20 minutes uh, as we've lost a communications link um, uh, through the KU band system. And capture confirmed, 5.19 a.m. Central, 6.19 Eastern Time. 